Okay, so here is a little live on camera commentary as I'm watching this um, all back same time as you are. Um, so the other day I had a um, free lunch time and this is a very famous restaurant actually. It was the first um, street food place that got a one star rating. And every time I walked past this place it was always a long queue, there was a lot of people, people taking pictures. You know, doing the normal, typical, you know, tourist or social media thing that everything, um, is, you know, that's going on. You know, it's really famous. So, as I said, it got one star rating, and it's uh, the first street food restaurant that did. And here it is outside where you can see them um, cooking it, preparing the meals. And the way it works here is that you walk in, get a table after a long queue, and go to the front and pay. So it has like a very, um, it, it's definitely not a, like a fine dining restaurant experience. It's borderline fast food to be honest with you. And that's how the, um, I guess the original environment um, would be like if you went to the original location, which I'm really curious to see how it is. And here it is, just when the rush hour is starting to slowly die down. As I said, I didn't have to wait um, in queue at all. It was like, just, it was just perfect timing. And so what my friend and I got was, um, we got the basic um, the chicken noodle dish, one each, and for me I needed the extra noodles because I just knew that I was going to eat more. And it just looked so delicious, and it was just so low priced that I couldn't help just to order extra. If I, I mean, you'll see toward the uh, second part of the video, um, the interesting thing, thing about that is, so... Be sure to watch that one and this was my first meal of the day and so from that I was I needed something to wake me up and plus it I, I always prefer to drink um, some sort of like carbonated drink like a coke zero or something just because it helps my stomach you know whenever I eat a um, little bit heavy greasy stuff oh yeah when um, we ordered the food and it came out my friend she went away somewhere for like I don't know a couple minutes and so you as you see the noodle started to harden up and then as a joke I was like look at it, it's like a block now I think we can all relate to that whenever we eat instant noodles and we kinda let it sit for a little bit well all it does is that you just have to mix it up a little bit better but man this meal was so delicious now I actually didn't know I mean the weird thing is is that I remember the the guy when he got his uh, one star I remember reading about it in the news you know originally and so it was when I walked past this place when I first saw it I didn't know that it was this um, uh, franchise and so I thought it was really interesting and um, when I googled it a little bit more it seemed like you know there was mixed emotions I mean when you have in mind of like you know like a star rating or two star or whatever Expectations are very, very high, and the thing that um, I think most people kind of forget that this is a street food, and so if you were to take, I mean, to take the street food experience, environments, you know, everything, and you put that into a, like a restaurant, it's kind of, um, you know, it changes the dynamics of everything, and so I think that a lot of people come in here with um, a lot higher expectations than what... Um, should be. So the question is, did I enjoy this meal? Yes, I did. I very, very much enjoyed it. But, you know, there's a big but here. I, the noodles are great. I loved it. Um, I would just go here all the time just for the noodles. I wouldn't wait in long. I wouldn't wait in a long queue for it, though. 10, 15 minutes tops. Now, what I didn't like was the chicken. Now, the reason why I didn't like the chicken was because I always eat my chicken one way, and that's um, white breast meat. Because I'm a very active, uh, athletic person, and so I've always eaten that my entire life, and that's pretty much the only way I eat chicken now. And so, minus that, well, I I asked my friend for her honest opinion also, and she also didn't like the chicken. She actually liked it uh, 
even less than me. And I was, you know, I was trying to eat it as much as I can, you know, at least the meat part. But the noodles were fantastic. Uh, it had like a um, texture grate. Well, it, it's borderline kind of like, a, you know, like a sweet and sour kind of thing. Less, not so much uh, sweet though. But it just had like a, a really great taste and it's easy to eat. And, um, you know, just kind of keep in mind, just imagine that uh, one street food place that's just delivers great food and that's what you have here. The thing is, they, as I said, they put that into the restaurant experience and it, it kind of changes it. I mean, and that's the discussion me and my friend were having. I was thinking, I was telling her that, you know, if we were to actually go to the actual original location, the the way, you know, everything, the environment, the feeling, enjoyment would all be very different. I mean, they took that into a restaurant. You know, it, it definitely didn't have that street food feel as much as uh, it would have been great to have but it was good I enjoyed it very much I mean uh, as you saw I'm eating a lot I mean I ate two full noodle dishes and I pretty much ate half of my friends because she was like hey, just eat it she's one of these people that like really cares about you know all these like, ratings and stuff and so I kind of made fun of her for that and um, as you can see I mean that's the funny thing is as you saw that's when, like, it was, like, starting to become, like, ghost town. Everyone, like, all the rush hours did. And throughout the place, they have all these, like, um, like, I guess, newsprints of all the recognition he got. And, um, yeah, so uh, here it is. All the meal was killed very quickly. <laughs> so this is the first part. In the second part, you'll see um, live talking. So enjoy that part. See you guys. Because it's not a uh, rush hour for lunch or dinner so here's perfect opportunity and here I am again so let's try this again mm. it does have that street food style um, flavor and taste but you know just brought in a restaurant experience Oh. So just earlier, about one hour ago, I was here with a friend and ate normal meal actually. But I, but I came back here again because I like these so much. So technically. I ate four of these today in roughly like an hour, hour and a half. It's a lot of noodles. It's been a while since I've been able to do like a, um, eat a lot of noodles at one time. It feels really good. Mm. So yeah, pretty much every time I walked around here, walked past here, there's always a lot of people and I was really curious. And so it's like the first like street food place that got a star rating. Okay, that was done. Pretty quick. Oh, I can eat this all day actually. This is the next one. And the prices are barely inexpensive. It wasn't that much. 
And so that's why I'm actually, oh, well, I'm back here again because I wanted to eat this, but um, well, I thought this was gonna be more expensive than it actually is, so. So if you're over here, it's very inexpensive here. And yes, you need to make sure you go, um, not during lunchtime or rush hour because that's when all the, it's just too many people. So that's actually one of the reasons why I decided to come back. Because there's nobody, no long queues. Mm. It has a very, texture is good and the sauce is great. Not spicy at all. And, um, mm. very easy to eat. And so, I mean, just the fact that I, I mean, I'm eating two right now and I ate, I guess you can say two. I mean, the previous one I ate was with chicken. Well, the next time I come here, I'm just gonna get the noodles now on. I'm not gonna get the chicken. I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't really like it. Yeah, I'm almost done. I mean, did you guys see the old style videos I used to do? I eat noodles very, very quickly in a lot of them. Mm. So delicious. And after this one's for sure, I'm gonna get uh, dessert. Because I had uh, some coffee, so I'm feeling very uh, wide awake right now. Oh, it's delicious. Oh. Mm. All right, pretty much this is all it. So I finished these all real, real quickly. God, this was such a good meal. I loved it so much. So as you guys can see, it's very inexpensive. You know, just um, 30 bucks for one noodle dish and 20 bucks for water. So it's very, very affordable. And so I would love to be able to go to the original place. So that's, guess, that's what I gotta do next time. So off to dessert now. <laughs>